Hi guys, we are now going to Catacombe di San Gennaro e San Gaudiso. Let's go! We made it right in time to Catacombe di San Gennaro. Be careful because uh, the schedule is really tight and it's until midday. So be here early. Let's see if we can film because they said that it's restricted to film here. You have to know, this is a cubiculum, now we are in a cubiculum. Cubiculum is a Latin word that means bedroom, because for the Christians, the dead is the rest, waiting for the resurrection. So you have to imagine the cubiculum like the private chapel. This is a family chapel. And there you can see the most important type of grave from the 5th century. Originally, in the 5th century, there were three different types of grave. There was a grave for the middle class in the walls, the graves in the floor for the poor people and the graves for the rich. So this one was the most important grave in the 5th century called Arcosolium, composed by the arch, sometimes decorated with frescoes or mosaics. And the solium was the part for the dead life. It's possible to find the Arcosolia everywhere along the walls of the catacombs or in the rooms. But it's important to remember in this place two times, the 5th century and the 17th century because we're going to see always a mix of artworks from the 5th and 17th century together. This is an example, the grave from the 5th and the statue of Christ added by the monks later. The woman who paid 600 to cut in gold, 3 million euros for this burial place. The grave of the princess is in the crypt, in the floor of the trip, it's possible to find the first 10 graves from the 17th century. We can call them the sponsor of the Dominican monks because with the money of these people, they started with the building of the, of the big church. You can see this is a typical pose of a princess, it's a curtsy. <coughs> Lady Maria de Ponte, another noble woman, and on the other side, we have the last, Alessandro Piatristo. I have to say the last because of the date, 1635. The exposition was forbidden in 1637 because the Dominican monks were destroying everything here in the catacombs, so they decided to stop, and here it's possible to see the only poor man buried in this place. The painter Giovanni Balducci, the man who worked free for the monks in exchange of his burial place. Of course, Balducci didn't paint himself, he painted half of the gallery, then he died, so you can see the painter with the palette and the brush. And it's possible to understand this is not the end of the painter. The frescoes are completely different. And 
And on the other side, we have the last woman. And for us, she's the most important here. She was a Neapolitan woman, Caracciola de la Cerenze, 1615. We know she was Neapolitan first, thanks to her name. Caracciola is one of the most important surname here in Naples, one of the richest family of the city. And so she was very rich. And thanks to this position, this is a typical pose of the strong Neapolitan women. And we found there just three years ago, thanks to a restoration of the gardens. Thanks to a private donation to our cooperative, there was the restoration of all the gardens of San Borgoso. So after the restoration, it was possible to find all this area of the fresco, the hair, and also the inscriptions. And if you look to the end of the gallery, you can see it's a kind of a little area of worship. We know the Neapolitan people came here to pray for the scouts. I'm really happy that we saw both catacombs because they were closing at 1 o'clock p.m. First we saw San Gennaro catacombs, they were really impressive and uh, then we went to San Gaudioso and we managed to enter with the final visit group. It was uh, without words. Uh, I saw a lot of skeletons and uh, a lot of tombs underground, so it's uh, shocking. And now we are going to we are going to the Cimitero de Montanele. A nice couch prepared for tourists that uh, have uh, walked a lot through the city. This is uh, People don't really walk on the side of the street. They have all over scooters and clothes. So just take a scooter next time. Today we have seen in Naples two catacombs and a cemetery and to be honest I feel a bit weird. I uh, saw a lot of bones, a lot of uh, skeletons. Stay tuned, subscribe, hit the like button. Thank you, see you soon.